There we go. Get them out right there. I might be in a good position to start picking these guys off. So I'm going to go ahead and throw... Yep, we are. Here we go. Come on, peek. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot, boys. Sit here and just wait. Woo! Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Iris. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And we're going to be looking at the ACR weapon conversion in Modern Warfare. Now, the ACR was a weapon from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, and its selling point was its accuracy. This weapon has legitimately no recoil, and you can actually make this weapon with the Kilo 141. Now, I dropped a tactical nuke using this class setup, and I'm gonna explain what attachments you have to run on the Kilo 141 to make it emulate the ACR, and also the play style you have to adapt when using this weapon because this is something that you can't use like a regular kilo one for one now for the acr you want to run the compensator this is going to increase your recoil control now for the attachment number two you're going to want to run the scene guard arms 19.8 prowler barrel which increases the damage range increases the bullet velocity as well as also increases that recoil control now for attachment number three, you're gonna want to run the Commando Foregrip, which adds recoil stabilization and also aiming stability. Now, attachment number four, you're gonna run to run some type of optic sight. Now I like to run the Solo Zero Optics Mini Reflex for this specific weapon, because I feel like it has the cleanest sight picture possible. You can also run the GI Mini Reflex if you have that unlocked, but quite honestly, I really like the Solo Zero Optic on this weapon. And then finally, I am running the fully loaded perk, so I do not have to put myself in harm's way if I'm low on ammo because this weapon is suited for range. And obviously, since I don't have to go out and throw ammo boxes constantly, I might as well sit back, relax, and pick enemies off. Now, throughout this entire Tactical Nuke gameplay, you're going to see me mold a class setup that best suits this weapon and its strong suits. You can also see that I have on a different perk loadout. I have on EOD, I have on restock, so I can resupply my Bettys and also my stem shot, and I also have on shrapnel, so I can lock down an area of the map or multiple areas of the map a lot easier. And then finally, I have the 357 Magnum, which I'm running the long barrel on here, the lightweight trigger, the snake shot, the slip grip tape as well as fully loaded just in case somebody wants to come in close range combat now if you guys do enjoy the best class setups the best settings the tips and tricks or want to see any more gameplay breakdowns where i go ahead and analyze my own gameplay or your own gameplay make sure you guys absolutely smash like on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications with all that can't even talk with all that being said let's get right into the tactical new gameplay Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears, and we're going to be using the ACR build here in Modern Warfare. Honestly, I cannot believe they have not brought this weapon back, considering the fact how hyped it would be. But we're going to have to improvise and use a Kilo 1 for 1 build, which emulates the ACR, which is a weapon that has literally no recoil. Now, you guys can probably tell that I have on completely different attachments and completely different perks when running this setup because. This rifle is going to be suited for long range combat and strictly long range combat. Now, something you need to realize when you guys are running the Kilo 1 for 1 or the ACR is you need to make sure that you guys are constantly putting yourself in positions on the map to where you can go ahead and pick enemies off at a distance and making sure you guys are running a strong secondary to kind of compensate for this weapon's range kind of imperfections, especially with this current build that I'm running right now. As I run around the entire map and only find one person. What the hell? Where are these guys at? Reloading. The hell? Where was he at? Wow, just leaning in a corner somewhere. We need to make our way back through middle map. Right there. Melts. Down the window. 
Got him. My way over here. Now, something that you have to realize, like I said, when running this kilo, is we have on the max barrel, which is going to slow down the mobility. And we also have the, the commando fork, which also slows down the mobility. But it does make this weapon incredibly accurate over ranges. And we also have on the compensator, which is additionally going to go ahead and slow down that aim down side speed. But it's going to drastically increase that recoil control. As you guys can see here, we're able to just straight laser people across the map. This gun has virtually no recoil with this setup. Now we actually got a, we got our VTOL jet. Take him out right there. Teammate, you're scaring me, brother. Here we go. Here we go. Now I got my advantage with V. I want to go ahead and throw down my VTOL jet now. I know they're still spawning all over here. We go take him off Now since I know where they're spawning at I'm not gonna really throw up my advanced maybe just yet There we go There we go Still got my ammo right there Betty got somebody here Throw that down right there Melt him All right, throw down. Ooh. Not gonna go ahead and challenge him there. Here we go. Sit here, just pick these guys off. Teammates are doing their nice job running the spawns back there. There we go. There we go. Throw up the support helo. Ooh, that guy's starting to pick me. We're gonna not challenge that. Like this is the range you kind of want to stay at when you're running the the ACR. We go. Mapped him. As you can see here, with this weapon, I'm able to just sit back across the map and just take these guys off. Throw down my ammo box. Throw that back down there. Got a guy underneath me right now. I'm out there. Put the Betty down right there. Enemy at the barn. We're gonna start to rotate. The, the enemies are starting to spawn out. So now we need to find a way to kind of reposition ourselves. I don't want to really run around right now. Like I said, we're running the ACR build, so we're gonna come out there. A lot of these guys are trying to hit the flank over here. Take them out there. We're gonna kind of use that kind of cut right there as an idea of where these guys could be coming from. So I know exactly where they're spawning at, but at the same time, I have the weapon to pick these guys off. So we're just going to wait. We go. Be advised. Friendly precision airstrike inbound. There we go. Enemy at the destroyed building. Got in that window. Teammate took him out. We're just going to sit here and just wait. Just pick these guys off. I know I'm camping here, but that's exactly what we can do because we have one of the best guns for range in the game. Contact. Enemy at the courtyard.
Now, since things are getting slow, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just push out. Enemy personal radar in the air. Took him out right there. Took him out right there, and there we go. We got the nuke. Kind of camped out the last two kills, but hey. That's exactly what we can do with the ACR, man. You have to kind of play to the weapon strengths. I know I have a weapon that I do not want to run and gun with. But that's how you can do it. <laughs> Literally just sat back, just picked them off. Hey, look, kind of directly showcase this gun's strengths that you can literally sit back and just pick guys off. That's exactly what we did in Modern Warfare 2. What we did in Modern Warfare 3, just sat back, roasted some marshmallows, camped a little bit, and got a nuke. Changing max. I hear this guy underneath me again. So let me sit here and just wait. Be advised. Friendly position here we go. Ah, we got taken out by that guy right there. It's all good though. We end up getting that nuke, man. Let me know down in the comment section right now for those of you who play the other Call of Duties, what weapon do you guys want to see kind of return? Man, we played that incredibly tactical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. We literally played that incredibly tactical. Go ahead and just drop my nuke now. Hold that down right there. I think there's a guy on top of me. Oh, yep, there was. Too late though now, boss. Like I said, tactical nuke with the ACR. Let me know what you guys want to see added to Modern Warfare. We end up getting kill three. End up getting sixty-two kills. Not too bad. If you made it this far into the video, odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support. If you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and also every single morning at 11.15 a.m. Central Time, I am live streaming over on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm playing Modern Warfare with viewers, subscribers, anybody who wants to go ahead, interact with me, or run a couple games of Modern Warfare. You can go ahead and find my Twitch channel by searching in twitch.tv slash earsxbl in the Google search bar, or going on Twitch and typing in earsxbl. My channel's gonna be the first thing that pops up. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. We are on the road to 8,000 followers, as well as if you guys have Twitch Prime and wanna hook your boy up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do actually subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime, or actually use a tier one sub make sure you guys let me know over on twitter my link is gonna be down in the description below tweet me a picture and i'll make sure to follow you guys back and give you guys a personalized thank you appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope to see as many of you guys over on the twitch streams as possible with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video deuces